It's Survivor Steve right here with a control foundation guide, and this time we're looking at Pope's collection, uh, which you initially get uh, after Emily Pope comes down into uh, the crossroads, the nail area. Uh, you have to talk to her about some ID cards that you'll find in the warehouse. Uh, now, after you finish talking to Emily, she'll give you an all-important skeleton key that we'll need for one of those cards, um, but we'll just switch over now to the warehouse and we'll go and look for them. Now, card number one is pretty easy to find. It's in the far right uh, room of these yellow huts. If you look on the bottom left bunk bed where I've just done, uh, you'll be able to pick that up and continue on. Now, I didn't record this properly. See that yellow room at the top of this ramp? If you go into that room, it's on the table. You can see the ID card on this little map picture. Now, from that hut, you want to keep going up and around the corner past this giant light and look for this piece of scaffolding. Uh, the ID card is on top of the scaffolding, just on the floor there. You can already see it. Now, the fourth ID card is basically above where we just were, but you need to kind of get up a little bit higher. So from the control point, I've just jumped kind of straight ahead onto this high bit of scaffolding. Uh, you'll then need to go and use your pull powers to bring out three different platforms here to get up even higher. And I think I stuff up the second one. Yeah, I did. That's all right. Don't panic. Get back up. Now, once you get to the third ledge, you'll just need to kind of look to your right and see a hole in this big column. So if you levitate up and into that hole, you'll find that the ID card is right on the ground uh, by those two pieces of paper. Now the fifth and final card is just at the very bottom and back of the column. Uh, you use the skeleton key that Emily gave you to get into the elevator room itself and you'll find that the last ID card is just sitting on the ground waiting for you to collect it. Now that fifth ID card is actually in the same room as the elevator itself. To go down the elevator though you'll need to solve one more puzzle and we've got an image up on the screen right now that shows you exactly where those five ID cards need to go. Um, so. From this image, um, Jesse is standing at the back of the elevator room, facing the door that you've just came through to get in. Now from that point, the close right uh, side desk has a gun. That is where the security chief's uh, card goes. Now we're going to move around in a counterclockwise uh, grouping from here. So the next table has a Newton's Cradle. That's the lead physicist's card. Uh, the station on its own, closest to the door, is the uh, head of research's location, that's uh, Ash's desk. Now the far left hand side has a pickaxe, that's the chief excavation engineer's desk. The next one, the only one remaining, has maps, that's the senior cartographer. So if you put all of those five ID cards in place, you'll be able to activate the elevator and head down to floor zero, which is the ooh, secret lab. Now wouldn't you know it, there's a boss down here. Um, it's a little bit challenging, it's not too tough, you just have to be fairly aggressive. So uh, you'll trigger the boss by hitting this button, going a little bit through the door, and then he'll pop up behind you. Uh, I just found it was really, really beneficial to be super aggressive, just launching items uh, at Gibbs as frequently as I can, or could. Uh, he will kind of hide and run away, and that's when you know that he's gonna spawn some helpers. So I stopped paying attention to Gibbs, and then start attacking uh, the plebs. Uh, he does fire that beam of energy, so it's really, really beneficial to either use your shield, like I've done here, to stop uh, the damage he's trying to inflict upon you, or you can use uh, the geometry of the lab itself to kind of block the beam and hide. Um, so once you've kind of taken care of the, the plebs, just start being really aggressive again, uh, attacking and throwing objects at him when you can, uh, not hesitating to use the shield or your surroundings to stop that red beam of light. And you shouldn't have too much trouble. So we'll finish putting him away. Uh, once that's done, you'll be able to enter the lab area at the back and uh, finish up most of uh, this little area. So once you've actually gone and, and checked out the room behind, you'll have to go back and talk to Emily at the crossroads. Uh, but I'm sure you know how to do that yourself. Thanks for joining us for this guide. Stay tuned for more from Control's Foundation Expansion. Is this in some kind of code? I can't read a word.